It's week one of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Texans and the Ravens. All that and more coming up next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday. Look at the two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. And here we are, getting things going. Let's have some fun. A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Will Anderson, that is one that he will remember. His first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. On third down, Jackson escapes the sack. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The veteran Jerry Hughes drops the hammer in the backfield. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. The Ravens send their punter out now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. On first down, here's Stroud. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. We'll look now at the 2023 draft class for the Texans and people still talking about the move they made trading up in the first round becoming the third team ever to make two of the draft's first three selections. And what a bold move they made considering what they gave up but for a team rebuilding like the Texans I think that was a move they felt like they had to make. Got the quarterback C.J. Stroud pass rush to Will Anderson Jr. They're going to be the face of it. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Texans are on the board here first in the season opener. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. 
Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. Here's the fourth-year man, J.K. Dobbins. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. A quick throw complete out to Beckham. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Brings up second down at the 18-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. And incomplete. I can assure you setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing for everyone on the offense. And a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his man. It's Andrews. He'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Fielded just inside the 30. Following the punt return here, there's someone shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 55 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards there and a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again on second down, it's Stroud. His throw incomplete. Well, today, of course, not just the start of the new campaign, it's the debut of D'Amico Ryans as the Houston head coach. Now, we saw him plenty with the 49ers, what he was able to do with that defense. Charles, what do you think he brings to the table for these Texans? He brings football intelligence. He brings enthusiasm. He brings creativity. This guy wanted to be the head coach of the Houston Texans. Twice a pole bowler with them in the NFL. Touchdown, Texans! Tank Dell with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Texans go up by two touchdowns. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drives seven plays in length, and it results in the Texans finding the end zone. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. 
first play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. The Ravens moving quickly. Here as the clock runs. Jackson. It's caught by OBJ. That's good for a Raven first down. 15 yards there. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there. The way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again, Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They set up the screen for Dobbins. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On second down, Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Jackson will throw again. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And they have a first down and well into field goal range also at the 16 now. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. So we've reached halftime here. Oh, it looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. Well, this offense looks Looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember Charles drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started. The way that they're going about doing things right now they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. And Pierce gets it again on second down. Room here to run. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling. And this play still live. He faked the spike, going to throw it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. And quickly, they get to the line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 44-yard line. On second down, here's Pierce. It's a loss of 11 on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Stroud here on third and long. Steps away to his left. And that will be incomplete. Sometimes we talk about covers, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Out to his left. And he is going to have a Texans first down, and it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allow him to convert on fourth and long. Get 
So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Being chased out left. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Off the play fake. Mills under a heavy rush and down he goes. And now they're in the hurry up. Play fake. Mills rolling to his left. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Patrick Queen in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here. But I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three? I'm with you. That seems out of the question. Fairbear now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start. At the 25, the Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now it's Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. Jackson's throw brought in here by Bateman. 23 yards, the final tally. Jackson. That's good for a Baltimore It's caught. Back up. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. From the 35, here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Jackson. Again, it's OBJ. Back-to-back -back catches. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 14. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Jackson. And it's caught. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. 16-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Here's Mills. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. 
Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. He's got his man. That's Dell. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. Take down. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Texans are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbairn. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. And he'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And now here come the Ravens. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Jackson on first down. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. One last shot for Jackson. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two, We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season.
So for Houston, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.